Greetings everyone, we're now in Patriot Park, which is a, a very ambitious project of the Russian Ministry of Defense of creating a super museum dedicated to all possible aspects of uh, the warfare and uh, history of warfare and so on. And uh, it is uh, located next to Kubinka, so quite a lot of equipment from Kubinka was transferred uh, here. And, uh, well, actually, now all the vehicles are on much better display. And uh, first we're going to have a very quick run-through. Uh, the Kubinka Tank Museum is one of the leading museums in the world, actually boasting some unique stuff, like this T-80 Soviet light tank. The only surviving one, and uh, quite many other interesting vehicles. Some of the vehicles were moved here already, but some, like the notorious mouse tank and uh, the 60 centimeter mortar, Carl, are not here yet. They're still in the old uh, base, uh, but now they're on much better display. There is much more space around vehicles. If someone visited Kubinka 10 years ago and so on. You might have seen that vehicles are very, very tightly packed in hangars. Here, they're much better visible. There is a BT-2 with 37mm cannon. One of the few surviving T-50s, Soviet light tanks. Um, T-40S, then Valentine. And we go to the medium tanks area. Panzer 4. And uh, German Prime Mover. And then the German uh, assault tank. Stormgeschütz 33. Apparently arrived here from the Battle of Stalingrad as well as this light Italian tank, L640. Here are light Land Lease tanks. Yeah, in general, here we have plenty of uh, Land Lease equipment. There's an M3, very tall vehicle, a very spacious one, actually. The Soviets even thought that they could probably use it as the armored personnel carrier. It was so spacious inside. And there is a tiny T-60 makeshift tank uh, produced uh, in Gorkov uh, automobile factory from uh, actually car and truck spare parts. Then T-38, the amphibious tank. And then, of course, uh, the T-34 here and the bust of uh, designer of the tank, Koshkin. And here is monument to Lieutenant Dmitry Lavrinenko, Lov the top Soviet tank ace uh, who was fighting on T-34 in brigade of Colonel Kotakov, and uh, before his death he destroyed 56 tanks, uh, sorry, 52 German tanks. And we're moving to heavier stuff. Here is uh, KV-85. Opposing, of course, uh, the Tiger tank. And for the Tiger, we're gonna have a walk around. Then T70. A bit noisy here, but uh, nevertheless. SU 122. This three. Cannon. And here is uh, the Land Lease gun carriage, uh, which was used uh, by the name of SU 57 in the Red Army. Of course, here we have the Ferdinand or Elephant captured in Battle of Kursk. APC carriers, Malti. And a very interesting version of uh, Panzerkampfwagen 1, a light tank but very heavily armored, 
and Ketten Kraftrad, of course, then the German satchel charges. And this is a very funny vehicle. This is supposed to be an observation vehicle for uh, artillery observers. Then you have the Bombe, the heavy assault tank, and Vespa, the Wasp, and a Martyr. Moving on to even heavier stuff. Soviet tank destroyers on the left. JSU 152M and there is SU 85. Soviet tank, uh, sorry, SU-100, of course, I'm always confusing them. Uh, this 2 anti-tank gun. SU-76. And T-3485. And the opponents are... The Sturm Tiger. Very interesting vehicle. Then Jagd Panther, then you have the Jagd Tiger, and then Nashorn. After which comes the King Tiger, the vehicle is so big it doesn't fit into the camera. This is the first tiger that was captured by the Red Army. And then here we have the Katusha rocket launcher and, and then here we have M24. And we're moving to the exhibition that is related to fighting at Hulkingol River and uh, the Japanese armor. It's uh, pretty dark. Okay, so here is the equipment that the Red Army used uh, in conflicts against Japan in 1935, sorry, 1939, and then in 1945. So here is pretty standard Soviet equipment, but then we're moving on to the Japanese armor, and it's uh, quite an interesting display here of all sorts of vehicles captured both in 1939 and in 1945. Strange lightning on them. Here we have Hago. Then there is Chi Ha. And pretty noisy here. And there is Kenu. And this is a very interesting armored personnel carrier which could move both on tracks and also on railway tracks. Here we go. An engineering tank. And then more. Japanese light tanks. This one has a container for uh, chemical substances. There is a small tank type 94. And these are the tanks that were used by the Japanese Marines. Teke. And here is the Japanese amphibious tank. and strange lightning on them. There is Kami. So 
So this was just a brief walk around the main exposition. Again, quite a lot of vehicles are not here. Quite a lot of vehicles are still in the old Kubinka Museum. Uh, but that is about four kilometers from where I am now. So that will be a separate video. Thanks for watching.